We are so close. Elon said that Starship could launch in July and boy, it is starting to look like it. Last night, Lab Padre captured this magic. Gee, they're not messing around with this uh, this lift either. I think that's their uh, that's their max speed right there. This is the full chopstick lift of Booster 7, the first time a Super Heavy has been lifted by Mechazilla. 33 Raptor 2 engines. So behold, the full power of Booster 7. And now we can look forward to static fires starting as early as next week, so be sure to keep an eye on Lab Padre's channel so you don't miss anything live. Elon tweeted last week, for the first time ever, there is a rocket capable of establishing permanent bases on the moon and Mars. He says, we will have a second Starship stack ready to fly in August and then monthly thereafter. So we're looking forward to Ship 24 and Booster 7 in July and then Ship 25, Booster 8 in August and then monthly launches after that. So yes, we are getting close. It looks like I'll be back in Texas sooner than I anticipated. The amount of fish jumping out of water that I've seen out here is kind of crazy. Elon, I'm coming for an interview! Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine if this was the first impression he had of me? That'd be so bad. If you're also looking to see the orbital launch in person, you should probably start looking at accommodation like now. And I know these things are hard to plan because we don't have an exact date yet, but just at least start scoping out your options, see what's booked, see what's full already and what is still available. Speaking of close, Rocket Ranch is the closest and most convenient option. They still have some spaces available for July, especially for their primitive camping. So if you have a camper, you'll probably be able to find a spot there. I was able to stay there for the second time on my last trip and it was so much fun. And hey, they've had a lot of upgrades since I was there even last time. You can see they were in the middle of installing solar here and they have made plenty of upgrades to not only Rocket Ranch, but the Outpost, which is their observation viewing area as well. If you're unfamiliar, Rocket Ranch Boca Chica is a unique camping destination. It's located on the Rio Grande River. Starbase is only eight miles away. And I interviewed this artist who stayed there recently. He designs and 3D prints very realistic Starship models. And I asked him about his experience staying at the ranch. What did you think of um, the ranch and like just Texas in general? I don't know. I haven't seen much of, uh, of Texas and um but the uh, the rock and ranch was amazing like i i heard about it i haven't seen much about it before coming here uh but it, it, we spent lots of time there and it was amazing welcoming amazing place with lots of like cool stuff too we, right. we look at the, the wall over there with like you know some of the you know like in the, in the kitchen we look at the, the the wall over there with some yeah. of the parts and so you're trying to figure out what it was and whatnot well, uh, yeah, no, it, was, it was so much fun. Like, And what's nice about it is it's so close because any hotel that's in town is kind of far away. I know. And the uh, the outpost is also quite amazing, too. We yes. had a chance to go over there and watching a launch from or like a, a test or, you know, even a static fire would would be like mind blowing, I'm sure. I definitely want to go back. I don't know when exactly, but I, I, I want to go back for sure. And I'm going to leave you with this quote from Stephen Hawking because I think that it is quite fitting for the excitement that we have right now with Starship. He says, I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years unless we spread into space. There are too many accidents that can befall life on a single planet but I'm an optimist, we will reach out to the stars. So I saw that and I just thought, wow, that is exactly what we're doing here. It is such an exciting time. I really can't wait to see this in person. Hopefully, you know, I'm able to get there. I don't see why I wouldn't be, but that's the one thing that can be a little bit frustrating with these launches is that, you know, we don't have an exact day and time yet, but it's looking like July is pretty feasible so that's exciting i want to know from you in the comments do you plan to be there are you someone who's going to drop everything and drive there if you need to or is this something that unfortunately will be very hard for you to get to but nonetheless you are so excited for the big day let me know in the comments i also love to hear where you guys are watching from and a big thank you to all of my patreon supporters your support means so much these are such exciting times and it's only gonna get better once this thing starts to fly.